We know that exercise and fasting generally have some benefits for longevity, but which one is more effective? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about this new study that compared the effects of fasting on BDNF. And I'll also mention the differences between the amount of autophagy you get from exercise and fasting. Do it. So this is a study. Fasting for 20 hours doesn't affect exercise induced increases in circulating BDNF in humans, January 2023. So basically they looked at the difference between regular fasting and exercise on circulating levels of BDNF in humans. So one group was 20 hours of fasting. Second one was 90 minutes of light exercise. And the third one was high intensity exercise for just even a few minutes. They found that fasting for 20 hours decreased glucose and increased ketones, which makes sense, but it had no effect on BDNF uh, levels. So if you don't know BDNF, it's a brain-derived neurotrophic factor. It's kind of called the fertilizer for the, for the brain. It helps with neurogenesis, helps to grow brain cells, and fasting generally does increase BDNF and exercise as well, but apparently 20 hours of fasting didn't do that. It wasn't enough to raise BDNF levels in these 12 healthy volunteers. Disappoint! Light cycling at 25% of peak oxygen uptake increased serum BDNF by 6 plus or minus 8%. So 25% uh, of light cycling, that's yeah, like that's like jogging on a bike <laughs> pretty much. And was mediated by a 7 plus and minus 6% increase in platelets. 6 40 second intervals at 100% of VO2 max increased plasma and serum BDNF as well as the BDNF per platelet ratio four to five fold more than light exercise did. So uh, this very short or even not 40 second intervals at max speed, uh, which takes only, you know, a few minutes to uh, finish, that raised the BDNF to platelet ratio four to five times above the uh, light exercise. So as you can see, the increase in BDNF was up to 250% in the uh, high intensity group. Fasting for 20 hours caused a ninefold increase in ketone body delivery to the brain, but it had no effect on any metric of BDNF in peripheral circulation at rest. Prolonged 90 minute light cycling exercise increased plasma and serum derived BDNF, irrespective of being fed or fasted, and seemed to be independent of changes in cerebral shear stress. So in the uh, light exercise, it didn't matter if you were fed or fasted. 90 minutes of light exercise increased BDNF by about you know, 6 to 8%. Six minutes of high intensity cycling intervals increased every metric of circulating BDNF by four to five times more than prolonged low intensity cycling. The increase in plasma derived BDNF was correlated with six fold increase in circulating lactate, irrespective of feeding or fasting. So again, the uh, high intensity exercise, it didn't matter if you did it fed or fasted, it increased BDNF. So uh, yeah, it outperformed fasting. Uh, just fasting and it outperformed the uh, regular light exercise as well. You son of a so when it comes to BDNF production, then high intensity exercise is outperforms everything. Like it's the most powerful and most effective way of raising BDNF and pretty much boosting your mood, increasing uh, neurotransmitters, new, in, new, increasing neurogenesis. And uh, it doesn't matter that fasting wouldn't have that effect. It's just that 20 hours of fasting apparently isn't enough to see those effects. Whereas you can do six minutes of high intensity exercise irrespective of being fasted or fed and you will see this 250% increase in BDNF automatically. It doesn't matter if you had fed or not. And we can see some of similar findings in the increase of autophagy. So autophagy increases when you are fasting, increases when you're exercising as well, but uh, generally it takes, at least in humans, it takes at least 16 hours to see uh, a raise in the basal level of autophagy and in uh, mice compared to like 24 hours of fasting then 48 hours of fasting raises autophagy a lot more than 24 hours of fasting. So there is some dose specific response in how much autophagy you uh, like elevate when you are fasting for longer. But when it comes to exercise, then even 30 minutes of exercise has been found to activate autophagy. So here again, exercise also pretty much ramps up the benefit of fasting, one of the benefits of fasting, which is autophagy, significantly faster. In these mice, we found that in both skeletal and cardiac muscle, 30 minutes of exercise was sufficient to induce autophagosome formation, which uh, reached a plateau after 80 minutes. Now we don't know how much, what's the threshold for autophagy in fasting, but we do know that you can at least see the activation or the elevation of autophagy significantly faster even in 30 minutes uh, with exercise. Which doesn't mean that, you know, that one is better or worse. We just know that uh, elevation of autophagy happens faster with exercise. 
some of the maybe benefits of uh, exercise can also have some additional like health benefits of course and vice versa fasting can also have some other health benefits that you don't get from exercise i personally think that you should do both <laughs> but when it comes to you know for first the bdnf then autophagy then exercise you know outperforms you can get to those benefits even within a few minutes of uh, exercising and if you're not exercising regularly then yeah you just you just have to like fast so much longer that i don't think that it's you know that productive it's much more productive to exercise regularly and get those benefits more frequently as well if you're exercising a few times a week then you will have a higher baseline of autophagy and bdnf all the time because you pretty much activate them every day almost and finally we can talk about senescent cells as well because there was a another recent study january 2023 that compared the effects of high intensity interval exercise and regular cardio for the clearance of uh, senescent cells, so these zombie cells that are actually one of the hallmarks of aging. And in this study, they did find that the high intensity exercise was able to help to clear the senescent cells, but low intensity cardio wasn't enough. And autophagy is also involved in the clearance of senescent cells. So uh, exercise increases autophagy and it also helps with the clearance of senescent cells. And you can do it much faster. If you do like a 30 minute exercise session or a hit session for even a few minutes, then you will, first of all, you will activate autophagy. You will increase BDNF and you also help to clear the senescent cells. Whereas we don't know precisely how long you need to fast to see those effects especially in terms of clearing the senescent cells. So in conclusion, I think that both exercise and time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting, both are one of the best things for your health and longevity in many ways because they help to maintain a good body composition, they help to activate these different longevity pathways, they help to improve your biomarkers, all of them, and uh, I think you should do both. Like the studies do suggest that exercise is one of the like biggest predictors of longevity and one of the most powerful things that reduces your risk of mortality but uh, fasting can also have some amazing health benefits especially in terms of adhering to a calorie uh, restricted diet but when it comes to the activation of these longevity pathways then exercise clearly outperforms fasting and it outperforms calorie restriction as well because of the intensity of the stress so exercise is a hormetic stress like fasting but the amount of this positive stress you get from exercise is significantly greater than fasting because you need to fast for, you know, at least 20 or even 48 hours or more to see like a very significant increase in a lot of these pathways. In humans, you know, the minimum that we know that you can get away with fasting is like 16 hours to see an elevation of autology. Uh, but with exercise, you can do that even within 30 minutes. If you want to slow down aging and live longer, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.